Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but E is awesome, which is made by the Lord Nu Afhanes. Thank you very much for making the mode and it is fairly straightforward. E is awesome. Everybody's E has been modified to be awesome, to be really powerful, but only at level 4. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's just get right into it. All right, we got ourselves Shadow Fiend, and I had to start with my boy, because, look at this, Presence of the Dark Lord, reduction 25 in a 3000 radius, and every enemy hero killed nearby further improves the armor reduction by 10 for 60 seconds. Now, that's only at level 4, and that's true for all abilities. So, E is normal until level 4, and then they start being awesome. Let's have a look at Slark, I think everybody wants to know. Agility gains 7, all attributes loss 3. That's so good. That's actually so good. Dispersion 45%. <gasps> Minimum radius is 0 though. Um, somebody doesn't know how this ability works. <laughs> admittedly, admittedly, I have to say, uh, this is definitely a matter of, I think, the tooltip being a bit lackluster. Because you would think minimum radius is better if it's smaller, right? But it's actually not true. You want the minimum radius to be as much as possible for Spectre because that is the radius at which it will deal its maximum damage. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's a bit weird, but um, yeah. So, you know, that's just kind of like how Spectre works. So this is actually a, a downgrade, the fact that the minimum radius is smaller. But of course, 45% damage reduction is pretty sick. Maybe it's intentional. It wouldn't surprise me. Otherwise, 45% damage reduction might be a bit much to handle. Anyway, uh, I've got a Phoenix with a laser, which does 9.25% max damage. Ooh, this is scary. Reaching 35. So uh, we die. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Am I understanding it correctly that we die? Okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for the filthiest Shadow Fiend build that has ever existed, which is, I'm just gonna go Necromastery and E, and that's it. I'm not gonna even skill my Q, don't need it. Don't need it, what would I need that for? All right, I just gotta get myself some last hits, which is a little tricky at first with Shadow Fiend because, you know, our damage is kind of low, uh, but we can catch up pretty easily since, uh, well, you know. Oh, damage catches up. Or maybe not. I mean, uh, right now it's not really working out. Oh, these towers are strong. Are they? They feel strong. They feel like they're doing a slightly more damage than they should. All right, let's get this. So we have the minus armor now. So we deal a good chunk of damage here. And at this stage, it should be quite possible to just kind of farm up and uh, get ourselves some last hits. Unfortunately, the aura doesn't apply to our creeps as well. Otherwise, we could use it for denying. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll take this. And our plan here is 100% just max this out as quickly as possible, right? 25 minus armor is gonna be a disgusting amount of damage. It'll be super, super good. Uh, so, let's just get ourselves there as quickly as we can. I think that's just common sense, right? That That's going to be good. Uh, let's grab ourselves some lifesteal. I want to get lifesteal first, which is definitely a bit unconventional, but we are relying entirely on attacking. So lifesteal is just going to be a lot of healing, right? It's just going to be a great way for us to sustain our HP here. And I think that makes sense. Just kind of come in here. And against the Necrophos, of course, it is pretty important that we're staying at a healthy amount. And here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Better be careful, buddy. Oh, better be careful me. Am I dead? I'm just gonna attack. Yeah, wow. Dear. How much damage is that? Health decay, 7.4%. 7.4%. That's brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Like, I don't I don't really know how we fight into that, but we will try, right? The thing about Necrophos is I'm not too... Oh, I know why our tower does more damage. Obviously, it's because I am applying a minus armor effect. Duh. 
I was like, why is the tower doing more damage? It didn't seem like it had higher numbers, but it's because it's got because I am the one that's doing that. It's my fault. I'm the one making the tower deal more damage. Alright, we can just kind of trade hits, I think. Ah, oh, nope, we can't. No, we can't. Alright, get Musk of Madness. Just kind of lean into it. We'll get there. <laughs> we will get there. Don't you worry about it. It's it's just a bit tricky right now because... Uh, oh, you've got Agonims. Oh, we're dead. It's just over, right? Reach and duration 35, health reach and by kill 15. Hero kill reach and multiply is 12. Alright. Yeah, this is the problem, you see. Nope, can't can't hit him right now. Can't get any attacks in. Now I can. But it's just not enough. It's not gonna be enough. There's Oracle. Am I dead? Maybe. I don't know. Wow, Warlock. Let's go. That's sick. I love it. Who needs Razors? Razors are for Venus. We'll grab these. Thank you. And then... Let's get a Hurricane Pike, right? Gotta get some attack range. I love this. We have our Necromastery Aghanim shards. Nice that we're getting that too. Tier 2 tokens. Sure, why not a Ring of Aquila? That seems better than this. Alright, that's not gonna kill. Necrophos will get us though. No, well, maybe not. Nice, the healing. <gasps> Let's go. Oh, and now we have a lot of stacks here. We're not level 15 yet though. That's the goal. I need level 15. Oh, hello. That'll help. Thanks. We got level 15. Presence aura affects buildings. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I have so much minus armor right now. Go minus 60. Look at that. Minus 85 armor. <laughs> oh my god. This tower doesn't stand the slightest chance. There's another one. There's another one. Oh my god. Keep feeding me. Make me even stronger. Yes. Oh, there's another one. And a minus 128 armor right now. 125 from me. Oh my god. Nice buildings you got there. <laughs> Would be a shame if something were to happen to him. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Okay, this is kind of what I thought was gonna happen. But, uh, I gotta say, maybe I underestimated it a tad even. Honestly, I was getting really pessimistic as I was looking at the... Uh, as I was looking at the Necrophos and just kind of like gonna kill us passively, but turns out... A 3,000 aura radius that reduces armor by 180 outdoes a bit of damage. Right? <laughs> oh my god! That ended so quickly! Well, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. I... wow! Okay, let's go into the next game, I guess. Okay, we got ourselves Snap Fire, Little Shredder, fires 6 attacks, except it fires 17 attacks at max level, armor loss per stack, 2, fixed damage per shot, 170, 600 bonus range and 7 seconds cooldown. Truly a criminal ability. Keep in mind, too, that Snapfire, of course, has Lil Shredder upgrades like crazy. Lil Shredder uses 100% of your attack damage, Lil Shredder multi-shot, Lil Shredder attacks. It's crazy. So let's go hard with it, right? Now, um, 
That's a weird one. Little Shredder uses 100% of your attack damage. It doesn't use any of your attacks damage by default, right? So when does it specify 100%? Isn't this, didn't this use, used to be a Little Shredder uses your attack damage? I mean, it's not, it's not that it's wrong information. It's just like weirdly over-inclusive, you know what I mean? But anyway. Replaces the 170, I guess. Well, then the way they should have written it is Lil Shredder uses your attack damage instead. There should be enough space for that. But that's okay. Let's not worry too much about that. Sorry, every time I see a little silly tooltip, I just like, you know, it just itches my brain. My brain gets itchy and I need to talk about it to scratch that itch. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just be Snapfire, get our little shredder, and just gun some people down. That's okay. That's that's a good plan. I think that's a fun plan. We're just go and gun some people down. Nice and easy. Hello there, unlucky. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we'll start with the level one. Look, I think it's important that we use the baseline stuff just a tad little bit so we get to see it in action, right? So we get to experience it, and so we get to have a good time with it. I think... That's a good way of going about it. We wanna we wanna see what we're dealing with after all, right? Oop, nope, that that missed. Are you a cool gamer like me? Then you know what cool gamers do? They leave likes on videos that they watch of Dota creators that they like. Thank you. Scatterblast. Get a hit here, get this, and uh, there he is, hello there friend. Oh, it's not very good at killing these, I guess. Yeah, 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 more little shredder. Ooh, somebody's going in a bit deep, right? Just a couple of hits, nice. Get the Venomancer. Should be... Should be okay to just let him go. Like, there is a world where we chase him down, but I honestly think it's not necessary here. We just kind of get some hits in. Scare them all away. I think that's fine. To be honest, I think as soon as we hit level 7, we'll just, like, completely annihilate everybody, right? Like, it's just gonna be a kill immediately. <laughs> If we're lucky, even the internal um, base attack speed value, that's... So, uh, the way Little Shredder works is that it gives you massive attack speed, but it also lowers your base attack time. Uh, the tooltip doesn't say that, but that's how it works. Uh, so, if we're lucky, then it also got updated, and then we get to attack really, really quickly. That's why uh, Snapfire gets to attack that quickly. All right? She cheats by having her base attack time lowered. Which is kind of funny. It's like one of the few ways you can lower your base attack time and it doesn't even say so. Alright, let me get the Dragon Lance here. Get some hits in. Nice. Ah. This is probably not a good idea. But maybe it's fine. Yeah, we should disengage this. Uh, I can give you one of these and eat one myself. We're pretty close to level 6, uh, so we just kind of nuke them now. Oh my god, okay, there we go. A little bit messy, a little bit messy, I'm not gonna lie, but we got there at the end of the day. Alright, I don't have enough mana. I wish I had a bit more mana. Ooh! Ooh! Let's go! No, oh, that seems pretty good. There's a Lotus if you want it. Can you not ping out the Lotus? Huh. So. Let's get some faster boots. And then we'll... I mean, I guess we just gun down this tower. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's not so great. Gun down the Primal Beast? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Even almost was enough for you, but it will be. There you go. <laughs> oh no, the clockwork. 
Yeah, clockwork is gonna be an issue, right? But we've got the uh, IO healing us, so we're fine. Uh, what are we buying then? What's a good item to get? Just get crits? Just get desolator? Yeah, let's just go damage, right? Let's just go damage. I think that's okay. We use our little shredder to burst people down. It'll be easy peasy. Hello. <laughs> nice try, but I'm not using passives. I didn't even get close to using all of my little shredder attacks. There's a tower. I mean, I'm glad we're good at pushing towers again. That's always valuable. All right, get a critical strike. So we can get two extra little shredder attacks, which admittedly isn't like super important, but that's all right. That'll be fine. What do you have? 45% chance to bash, no cooldown. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> oh dear. So we got some fat crits. There's a tower. Oh, there's not. There's no more tower. Extra little shredder attacks. Primal man is over there. We gotta take that down quickly. Reapply our little shredder. Oh, I don't like those. I don't like those missiles. They don't do a lot individually, but they sure add up. Oh, hello. Hmm. That's maybe a Oh! Oh no, that Aghanim Scepter is a problem. 13 maximum stacks. And that means 13 times 2 waves. Ooh, that Aghanim Scepter is definitely a problem. That's just gonna do a ton. It's 350 damage as well. Okay. But something we learned there is that Aghanim Scepter and Aghanim Shard upgrades apparently do also count. Like, they also get upgraded. So that's good to know. A disarm? How dare you. Wow. Well, I, I guess we gotta get ourselves some sort of protection from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aghanim Scepter is now online. Four times the damage from Corrosive Skin and Corrosive Skin itself does quite a lot of damage. So we were doing well, but now I'm a bit more worried. <laughs> but we level out quickly, so if we can get to level 25, I think we can just overwhelm people. Alright, there's one kill. Alright. I'm dead? Yeah. I mean, I was, I was hit by the... Uh, uh, Wyvern, not Wyvern, Viper. Again, so I couldn't, I couldn't attack. I guess maybe we need a BKB. BKB instead of lifesteal. Might just be necessary here. Because our opponents really have some powerful effects going on now that I don't know if... Is some uh, simple purge is going to be good enough for it? Probably not, like... Yeah, I mean, certainly not, right? So let's just kind of uh, try to go a little bit further. Oh, the wards weren't updated properly. That sucks. I'm dead. I am disarmed. I wasn't disarmed at the end there anymore, but I didn't know how to attack. The Viper damage output is crazy. It's just the corrosive skin, right? Like, it's already so high, it's already 88 damage per second, and then you multiply that by four? That's... that's a lot. That's a lot. We backdoor? <clears throat> we have an aisle. Backdooring is always an option. Ooh, okay. We jump on out of there. Nice. Oops, I'm dead. Thank you, IO. BKB. 
Nice. Alright, Io got it. Io is keeping us going. So we have PKB now. I'm coming in, I'm coming in. I'll try to help out. Nice. Nice. Level 26. Little Shredder uses our attack damage. We got there. We are ready. I mean, this was a powerful ability before, but <laughs> it's on a whole different level now. Do we like Growth Bolt? Probably, right? Extra attacks, uh, attack speed and attack range are always great. We don't get much use out of the uh, magic resistance debuff, but I think that's okay. All right. Well, who wants to fight? We've got like pretty much 100% uptime on our E. We have a, a beautiful BKB, a satanic, some crits. In pretty great shape. Oh my god, that tower just vanished. <laughs> Alright, who wants to fight? Come on. And... Got him. Nice. Okay. And we just hit. We just attack. We just attack. We just hit him. <laughs> it's a primal beast. How much armor do I have? 200. Oh, man. It's just... I don't know about the primal beast. We can, we can kill a lot of things, but primal beast just has so much freaking armor. I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. I don't know if we'll ever be able to get through it. Brave King, of course, the Mortal Strike. Ooh, that's a scary Mortal Strike. It's just gonna have zero seconds cooldown eventually, right? Because of the level 25 talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aluna, what do you have? 75 bonus damage? I mean, I guess she hits kind of hard. This is a bit of a disappointing one, but is the Aghanim Shark? No, that's Moon Glaze. That's not the E. Right, Omni Knight is good though. Ham of Purity? Yeah. That's a pretty good one. It's coming here. We have a lot of money. I don't know what to buy. I don't think we need Dragon Lance, right? We can get rid of Dragon Lance. We just get more crits. MKB, maybe? Monkey King bar. Oh, Moonshot is really expensive. That's funny. Well MKB seems okay. I mean, it's... It's just an item. We could just stack crits and it might be better, but who knows? Maybe they do end up having some evasion. Hey, look at this guy. He's got a butterfly. All right. I guess... I guess, yeah. They do end up with some evasion. <laughs> Come on, we can do it! Nice. Just gun him down. <laughs> Let's go, Io. You and me together. We can handle it. Alright, disarmed, but not for long. We'll take this down. We'll take you down. Activate this. Nice barracks you got there. <laughs> it's all Io, honestly. But, I mean, we knew that. We knew that Io was gonna be good because it's Io. I think there needs to be nothing else said there. Okay, that's a problem, but we'll try to heal. Ah, it's not enough. Not quite, not quite. But we, we got a lot of damage done. So, it's not too bad. What, Io does multi-shot too? Anything I attack, the Io will also attack. That's just how it works. Do you guys think Desolator is better or Daedalus? I think another Daedalus would be much better, actually. Upgraded items? What do you mean? <gasps> what? Okay, I have an upgraded Daedalus. Where the wild 
Oh my god. Okay. Uh, turns out upgraded Daedalus does a lot of damage. Big surprise. Oh my god. Is this ever gonna kill? <laughs> Sorry. Pick up. Uh, yeah. It did. It, it, it did get it did get there. Wait, we can upgrade items? Crazy stuff. I don't know if we actually need to upgrade our Desolator. Because, like, we have a ton of minus armor from this, but at the same time, the Primal Beast has a ton of armor, right? So I think against Primal Beast, against that bad boy, we want as much minus armor as we can possibly get. Okay, no, that makes sense to me. Ah, I need vision. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Ooh, 18 bonus damage already. That's kind of crazy. Well, the clockwork is a nightmare. I don't really know what to do about the clockwork. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's not good. Yep. That's a zero second cooldown on a 450% crit. Turns out that's a pretty, pretty good ability. It's just kind of dealing 450% damage on every attack. Alright, I've got a couple of seconds. Please don't end the game. I've got BKB ready. I, I'm, 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 I'm here. I'm here to make it happen. Okay, that's fine. Come on. Come on, just attack. Good. Alright, we got him. We got him, we got him. We just got him down. Nice. <laughs> Alright, where's my IO? Let's grab this and upgrade that. Got 108 bonus damage from our Desolator now. That's kind of strong too. That's a good amount. No, we can totally do this. Hey, Chichox, thanks for the 57 months. For a new Dota item. It's an early game, game item, item designed design mostly for agility carries. You make it by buying a wave band and a ring of Basilius. Let me know what you think. Seems overpowered. Seems like it would eventually get removed after bench after being bought on the Shrock and Alchemist. No! Yes! Heavens Halberd! Giga Chat Halberd! Let's go! That was the world's Giga Chattest Heavens Halberd. Alright, that guy is dead. Okay, we killed one. We're taking some damage, but nothing we can't handle. Because we have the Omni Knight, luckily. Why is Primal Beast not taking damage? Oh, come on! We can do it! Oh. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't wrong. I would have... I would have killed him first if I didn't die to the... Or like, if the Primal Beast didn't have the uh, ghost form. So I suppose we got it. Remember Meepo stacking for Arculus and ending in 10 minutes, the glory days? Meepo wouldn't stack Arculus. Why would Meepo stack Arculus? Meepo stacked Wraith Bands, and Meepo stacked a lot of Wraith Bands. You're correct about that, but there was no reason for Meepo to stack Arculus because the additional bonus you got from Arculus wasn't stats-based. Dragonlance too. Uh, yeah, funnily enough, there's only one game at TI where Meepo Dragonlance build was even, like, on the table. And it didn't do anything, and they lost immediately. And the much, much more effective and prominent Meepo builds were always um, shit ton of Wraith Bands, E Blade, Blink Dagger, Manta Style. Uh, maybe a Scardi and a Hex. Kind of funny, isn't it? Alright, take these. Hello. Oh, we're dead. 
Oh, you just die so quickly. You just die so freaking quickly. Alright, I'm just upgrading all of my crap. Well, I guess I don't quite have enough for this. Four meeples is not enough, you need Manta. Well, it's actually really interesting to me why Meepo bought um bought Manta Star. Do you guys know why Meepo bought Manta Star? I think it's fascinating. Like, I think I figured it out, but... Yes, you can poof to illusions. That's right, but why is that so good? You poof to illusions, but why is that good? It's great, because what you can do is, let's say there's a team fight, right? And you want to get into position, but it's difficult. Well, you just send in an illusion. You see if the illusion manages to get into a spot where you can poof in with all of your meepos and then gang up on your opponents. If yes... You poof in, you kill him. If no, so what? It's just an illusion. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, they got us. They got us. Wraith King was just way too much at the end there. Or let's say you want to push out a lane. You want to push out a lane so your opponents can't, you know, just like push you. So what do you do? Well, if you send in a Meepo, that's risky. The Meepo can get killed, your hero dies. So what you do instead is you send in an illusion. The illusion gets into position. Scouts out, are there any opponents? If no, poof in a Meepo, clear out the wave, get the Meepo out of there safely. It just made Meepo so much more consistent and so much safer. It was a really, really cool build. I really liked Meepo uh, Manta style. It was a very fascinating build. And it, it worked in a really clever way, I felt. Anyway, let's get into another game. Okay, so I think we've learned a few things over the last few games. I think attacking isn't actually that good um, because it's kind of hard to attack. And uh, to be honest, like, yeah, you can kill people really quickly for attacking. Like we saw that from the Wraith King. But what killed me wasn't necessarily the Wraith King's damage. It was his stun, right? It was that I couldn't fight back. And I know that sounds like uh, the same thing. <laughs> Like, obviously, it is the Wraith King's damage that killed me. What are you saying, Bami? Um, but you get my point, right? Like, it's it's more about being able to get your damage out. And I think for that, just a simple nuke is better. Now, there aren't a lot of nukes that are on ease. Like, just there just aren't that many. It's actually kind of funny. We spent quite a while looking around and, like, there's Queen of Pain. There's uh, Void Spirit. I have Titanter here. I think Anchor Smash kind of counts. Look at that. 700 radius and a one-second cooldown. That seems kind of sick, right? So... I think Anchor Smash seems all right. Um, there's Le Shroc, I guess, but like honestly, there's just not that many. There's just not that many nukes that are on the knee. I don't know. I can't really think of that many. Even heroes like Galena and Crystal Maiden have passives on the E's. right? So it's it's a bit funky. It's a bit bit weird. Either way, we got Tide Under. I think Tide Under should be all right. Death Prophet. I don't know if I would consider that a nuke. To me, a nuke, I keep saying it so weirdly, to me, a nuke is an ability that kind of like has some burst damage, right? And like, Death Prophet E doesn't really have burst damage. I mean, you could consider it that. Point being, if we're debating whether or not Death Prophet has a nuke on her E, I think, I think we can agree that there just aren't that many heroes that have a nuke on their E, right? That's a little bit weird, but that's just how it is. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and get this here, and Mr. Silencer Man. Oh, nope. Activate my Kraken Shell here, thank you very much. I mean, honestly, we're just gonna be chilling here. Oh, Silencer has a nuke on his ear. It's a bit of a delayed one, but it is a nuke. Can't be really strong, isn't it? Yeah, the uh, int multiplier is 4.5. It's <laughs> quite high, isn't it? Oh, it's gonna be scary. Well, that's fine. We'll grab the gush. And then... And then... What am I building? I mean, I do think we still just build right click. I know I said, I said we're going for nuking, not right clicking, but our nuke is a right click based nuke. Uh, 
Like, I, I don't know. Look, I panicked, okay? I picked Tide Hunter. I think he's alright. He's not, like, an ideal choice, though. I know that. <laughs> Let's just get ourselves some face boots and then probably just get some fucking crits so we can... We can farm a little bit, I don't know. We need mana, I guess. Does the mana cost go down? Oh yeah, it does. It goes down to 20. So that's, I guess, manageable. If it was higher than 20, or if it was, uh, you know, like it went to its usual, I think 60, that would have been a problem. But I think at 20, we can just manage our mana a bit carefully and we should be all right. All right. Get a hit in. Get a hit in. There we go. Ah. I was trying to hit both the creep and the silence and I managed to hit neither. All right. That's fine. We just trade there. I don't mind. I'm not too worried about the... Uh, Ventral Spirit, to be honest. She just gives 55% bonus damage. Which is good, don't get me wrong. But, like, honestly, considering how strong you can end up in this game mode, I feel like that's honestly not that impressive. Like, that's... I don't know, that just isn't really blowing my mind here. I'm more worried about the silence, to be honest. So, yeah. Okay. We need a little bit more experience. Like, a creep would be great. We're just kind of hanging out here. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh man. Well, I couldn't have helped there even if I tried. Oh, it comes out really quickly. Oh my god. The cast point is reduced. Oh, that is so good. That's actually crazy strong. It's even better than I thought it was going to be. Absolutely disgusting. Alright then. And it's huge. So there's that too. Blow you up. Tower goes down. We just get ourselves some crits right away. And I kind of would like a Scotty so people can't run away from us. And I also like it because it gives me a bunch of mana. Which, uh, we're gonna need a little bit of that, right? Hello. I'm just coming in to say hello. There's one hit. There's two. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Poland is gonna have a, a bad time. Let me just put it that way. I'll grab a clarity, get myself some mana. We have dead in the water. An anchor. Which I guess kind of makes sense. I mean, Tidehunter is carrying an anchor around a bit. Hit me. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, you should know better than to trust the Tidehunter. Can't believe anything I say. Anchor smash damage reduction. So the tombstone is a problem, isn't it? Do we have any any way of dealing with tombstone? I guess the good news is that it's not really doing damage to me. But it is destroying my team. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what we're gonna do about tombstone. Tombstone seems crazy overpowered. Just because it's going to have a massive AoE, right? Everything has its AoE scaled up. And then you just get assaulted by zombies. I mean, what, what do you do about that? They might not kill me, but my team clearly struggled. And uh, there's always the slow. And the slow. Yeah, that'll get us good. There's not much we can do about it. No, I don't like any of these. I think I'll just keep my broom handle. Alright, we'll get this. And then probably get Invis. 
right? That's the best way of dealing with uh, the zombies. Because the zombies despawn when we go invisible. Oh no. Oh god. Ah, oh, this is not good. We are in trouble, friends. I'm just kind of like wildly anchor smashing at anything in the area. Alright, we got this guy. No! Not a second one! Well, shit. <laughs> oh, okay. So we, we've got the undying. Oh no, my team is just falling apart. Oh, I couldn't! I couldn't do it! <laughs> I really tried. I mean, I got a couple of kills, and nice thing, I'm actually getting more damage block as well. Because uh, I get Kraken Shell damage block per Anchor Smash kill, and I'm only killing with Anchor Smash. So that's nice, I guess. Oh, look at that. 32 extra damage block. <clears throat> we have some invisibility now, so we should be able to at least escape the zombies. Assuming, assuming the Undying doesn't get detection. In which case, we are just uh, still screwed. But I guess this also helps with some attack speed, which isn't too bad. Kind of would like boots of travel. I got these face boots, but honestly, they don't feel that good. It's a pretty fast moving game. It's probably better to just get the big boots so we can move around a bit more often. Ooh, nuts. Damn. I got slammed by a giant spike carapace. Damage reflected 270%. Ah, no, it's got 100% uptime. Oh, Nux Assassin is gonna be a whole lot of fun, isn't he? Oh, that's gonna be a fun hero to play against. Illusion, aura, radius, duration, transformation time. None of this is particularly great. Honestly, I mean, I guess the base attack time reduction is nice. Uh, couldn't you use Ghost Scepter against the zombies since you can cast Anchor Smash even if you're disarmed? I could use it to defend myself from them, but it wouldn't give me like a solution to them. So, Ghost Scepter would make it so that the zombies can't attack me anymore, and that would actually, like, probably allow me to reset the debuff they apply and start moving again. But the thing is that while I'm Ghost Scepter, I can't kill the zombies and they will continue spawning on me. So what will happen is after I come out of the Ghost Scepter, there's just gonna be even more zombies ready to attack me again. It deals with the problem temporarily, but then it doesn't really fix it. Right? It just kind of leaves me struggling with the zombies anyway. So we could use a Ghost Scepter. It wouldn't be a bad idea if all you needed was those four seconds. For some heroes, that's actually fine. But I think with Tidehunter, we kind of are looking for a little bit more. Right? Like, I think with Tidehunter, we're hoping to just um, stay in the fight for, Tad for, for, for quite a bit longer, actually, ideally. <clears throat> Wait, that's not right. Satanic, please. Thank you. And then 50% chance. For Anchor Smash on attack. I'm just gonna kind of get hit by this. Ah, I need to be dispelled. Why is my silence not dispelling? There we go. Ah, shit. All right, Invisa. They have detection here, but now it ran out. See, this is where Invisa is so good. Ah, no, they found me. <laughs> this is where Invis is good, though, because what Invis does is it just kills the zombies. Like, if we go invisible and they don't have vision on us anymore, the zombies just go away. And that makes a really big difference. Like, that actually lets us deal with them. It doesn't let us kill the tombstone, but honestly, killing the tombstone, I, I don't know about that. Like, I tried, and that thing is tanky. 
<laughs> so I'm not sure. Killing the tombstone is even really a viable option. Does Wind Walker call, uh, kill the zombies? No, I don't think so. I think Wind Waker. Wind Waker. Wind Walker? Oh shit, what is it called? No, it's Wind Waker. Ah. Yeah, so Wind Waker um, and, and yours, they make you invincible, but you're still there and the zombies can still aim at you. Like, you can actually target things that are in uh, yours. So, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I would guess that the zombies will still chase you and will still target you. But maybe somebody else can verify this. Again, I'm not entirely sure. Omelet has slow resistance, does it? Look at that. Learning new things every day. Alright, Invis, but they have detection, right? Yeah. Silence, just kind of... Hit him. <laughs> oh, Nyx Assassin again. <laughs> Nyx Assassin is always the biggest problem. Because I took a massive amount of spike carapace damage at the end there. I mean, the good news is that they are struggling to deal with me. Right? Like, they're having a hard time. So what can we buy? I mean, I honestly think just get a hard. Just tank up. We don't need that much more damage here. We don't really need attack speed. We're relying entirely on anchor smash and that should be fine. I'm not sure if I'm going for Daedalus. Like, I might actually just upgrade the Silver Edge if I can. Yeah. So, like, upgrade the Silver Edge and then maybe get, um... Um... Uh, what was it? Desolator again. Sorry. Just Desolator seemed like a really strong item earlier. So, I, I would like to try that again. Oh, my God. Wow, what a grind. There we go. I'll just, I'll just go invisible. They have a lot of detection. That's a separate tombstone. There's a second tombstone. Yeah, I was surprised because the zombies are supposed to die when the tombstone goes away. So for a moment there I thought, okay, maybe the zombies linger a bit or have a timer themselves, but no, that's not how they work. The zombies are supposed to die. Here's an anchor. Alright. Where are these tombstones, dude? This is this is so silly. Alright, go get him, team. I'm just gonna keep clicking E. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's upgrade this. The Terror Blade might actually be able to kill the tombstones. What's the radius on these? I mean, we can't really check, right? Or, no, we can't. We can't. It does update for us. 2,000. So it's not as bad as I thought, but it's still pretty bad. That's still a problem. The 30 second cooldown certainly doesn't help either. Alright. Yeah, I'm just not really going for armor because I feel like we have enough Kraken Shell, right? I mean, I know damage block is not the same as armor and armor serves a separate purpose. But I feel like once we have enough damage block, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll do about the same job. So. It should be okay. What do you guys think is better, Daedalus or Desolator? And is Scotty any good? I kind of want Scotty for the mana, right? That's why we call it. To be honest, do I need boots? I'm, I'm just going to be a no movement speed anyway, right? 
Like, I don't think there's any world in which I ever have any substantial movement speed in fights. So it might be better to just go for the Desolator. Maximize our damage output. Hey, look at that attack speed. Yeah. Let's go. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, let's fight! I'm out of mana, but... Ah! Never mind. Yeah, the uh, Mind Flare for 4,500 damage. <laughs> like, I run out of mana anyway. Like, can I actually have enough mana? I think I need more damage. I think I need more damage. I'm just gonna say that's enough crits. I think I think I'll get I think I'll get the uh desolator instead. <clears throat> I think it's just gonna be more powerful. And I might be wrong about this, but that's alright. I can be wrong about stuff. So Let's get ourselves some more creeps and probably get ready to push. I mean, honestly, I just need a couple of kills to build up the damage here. But ideally, I first purchase this. But it's 8,000 gold. I'm not going to be able to afford it unless I get a couple of kills. So, um, I guess we got to do that first. Yeah, sounds about right. Wing Tut. Is how it's going to be the situation here. Ah, uh, no anchor. There we go. Wow, that didn't take long. All right, I'm going to try to kill the tombstone for what it's worth. Maybe I should position myself slightly differently. Ow. Man, that's crazy how much damage you take there. The Nyx Assassin is just a massive... Oh, that's why I didn't do anything. Oh, so we need an MKB. Do we like hard? Hard is kind of shit, right? Okay. They will have break. Okay, so so what are you guys saying? Well, we need we need MKB, otherwise we can't hit the Nooks. You guys are saying a Soul Crush across instead of Scotty. I just worry I'm gonna be out of mana. I just worry I'm gonna be out of mana. But okay, I don't think it's a terrible idea. To be honest, I don't really like the Scotty. It's not doing very much. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Oh, no. Oh, Nyx Assassin is so strong. <sighs> yeah, now I'm way squishier. I don't have enough HP anymore. I mean, I guess just kind of like backpack the TP boots and equip a Scotty or a Hard anyway. I don't know. Maybe I should also just get the next double of a couple of these. Just so I have some more stats. Check tier 5 tokens. Oh, you're right. Those are a thing now. Ex Machina, right? Could be Mirror Shield. Hmm, is Mirror Shield better? Mirror Shield actually sounds kind of alright. Ex Machina is just... The problem with Ex Machina is that it uses a lot of mana. And I think we're already worried about mana. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I think... I think... I think we go with the Mirror Shield. To that seems okay to me. Just because that reflects some annoying things and uh, then we don't have to worry about them anymore. Alright, hello. There's a kill. That's good, that's good, that's good. What's up with you? You've got one HP? I'm confused. Why is she at one HP with like a massive... Huh? 
feel like there's some mechanic going on here that I don't understand. Okay, you're bugged. Well, there you go. I guess... Uh, <laughs> I guess that's an explanation. <laughs> How am I reflect? Did he just punch me? I guess he just punched me. I feel like that Nux Assassin is reflecting non-stop. And I don't know how that works. Because isn't Nux Assassin's reflections supposed to only be once? And even if he recasts it again? I don't know. It's a bit odd. It's a bit odd. What is Queen of Pain has one health? <laughs> Do you... Take a hit. Take a hit, you coward. I want to see if you actually die. Do you die? <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. That poor Queen of Pain. I don't know what's going on with her, but uh, it's clearly not working out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tide moves. Oh, this uses 400 mana? Guys, I need mana. That can't be right. How? Just critted. I just got critted. Guys, I think Nyx is us. <laughs> I think Nyx Assassin might be a good hero. And also, I think Queen of Pain might be terrible, probably. I don't know what's going on with her, but ha might be having some sort of aneurysm. <laughs> Queen of Pain is just straight up not having a good time. I don't know what to do. We can't get into their base. I guess we need to do it as a team. Alright, let's try to push as a team. Queen of Pain, you can join too if you want to. You don't have to. It's, it's fine. <laughs> she doesn't have to. She's already suffering enough. And I guess we just kind of, you know, go for it. That's what we got to try anyway. We need some sort of detection for this guy. All right, come on, anchor. Oh my God, this is the world's shittest ability. What? Oh, man. Go get him, Terror Blade. <laughs> he couldn't do it. <laughs> the problem is just that I keep getting one shot by the Nyx Assassin. And their damage output is just so high that I can't really fight back. And I guess that's it. That's That's my problem. Undying is building a new base. That's true. Undying is building a new base. Oh, that is... That's great. Except I think we're losing. I think we were doing so well. And then Nyx Assassin turned out to be a fundamentally overpowered character. Where I have no idea what Valve was even thinking with him. Oh, man, just give me a break here. I just want to leave my base. Is it that much to ask for to let me leave my base? At least end the game. Do it, you cowards. Do it. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Well, they, they're certainly doing it. It's like not even hard. It's absolutely trivially easy. Yeah, well, that's not great for us. Oh, no. Couldn't even... It was on cooldown, couldn't even glyph. <laughs> so I guess that answers my question. 
I guess we figured out if Nyx Assassin is gonna just win the game immediately. Um, but yeah, hey, you know what? I think that was quite a bit of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that too. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.